We are from Long Beach Middle School Excel, and we are here with our teacher, Ms. Deborah Holt, this year. We decided to do Project Citizen, where students can affect a policy change, and we decided our project, Stop Animal Abuse and Neglect in Its Tracks. Project Citizen is a program that is sponsored by the Center for Civic Education. The program helps participants learn how to monitor and influence public policy. In the process, they develop support for the democratic values and principles, tolerance, and feelings of other po political efficacy. Students are gifted pro process skills of research, critical thinking, social awareness, group dynamics, and leadership. We would like to share a project with you, so come with us on our journey of trying to stop animal abuse and neglect in its tracks. We notice that there are a large number of animals in Long Beach who are being neglected and abused every day. Just this year alone, Animal Control reported 257 total calls January or March 2010 regarding pickup of stray or wild animals, animal biting, or neglect. On the national level, this graph demonstrates how much animal abuse has occurred throughout time. There has been a downward trend of animal abuse on the national level due to 46 states passing felony animal abuse laws. As you can see from the slide, abuse can start off with animals and it can lead to abuse of humans. Some of the most violent criminals abuse animals in their childhood. There is a connection between people who abuse animals and commit crimes later in life. a survey regarding animal abuse and neglect. We distributed surveys citywide and had 227 returns. Out of the return surveys, 211 students, 6 teachers, 9 community members, and 1 city official, Mayor Skelly, responded. <coughs> These graphs take the results of the survey. 81% said neglect of animals. 80% said abuse animals. This graph states the possible solutions regarding animals. Finding people who abuse or neglect animals was voted the first. Third was having an ordinance to make it a crime or animals. Educating the public about proper pet care was second. Did you know Mississippi is one of four states that doesn't consider animal abuse a felony? Senate Bill 2623 would have made it a felony to torture a dog or cat, but it didn't pass. Long Beach has a good ordinance in place regarding animal abuse and neglect. Ordinance 488, Section 13, A through D, lists penalties for aggravated animal abuse and simple animal abuse. The ordinance lists consequences regarding fining, jail time, and counseling, and not being allowed to own animals for a period of time for aggravated animal abuse and simple animal abuse. We asked the Long Beach City Council if they could do three things to help the animals of Long Beach. One, we would like for the current ordinance to be more strictly enforced at the highest level for aggravation of animal abuse and simple animal abuse, and possibly raise fines and jail tax. Two, adopt a resolution supporting felony animal abuse laws to send a state legislature. Three, start a local animal abuse registry. This may inspire other local cities to do the same thing and make a difference. We feel this will benefit us in many ways. We would like to thank Officer Cindy Codgers for help on this project. Also thanks to Dr. Mr. David Waltman of the Humane Society of South Mississippi for his valuable information. Thanks to the school board for allowing us to present this important topic today. And also thanks to Carol Payola for sharing the benefits of this valuable project with us. She's the one who really started this project in Long Beach and I think aren't you a co-chairperson in the state of Mississippi? And so she's really inspired, you know, and tried to encourage many of us to do this project. So she taught me into doing this with my students this year and I have to say it's been extremely valuable. And the students, their reflections that they write about this, I mean it really is a top-notch project and encourages a lot of critical thinking and getting them involved in their community. And realizing that they can inspire change. 
Well, I think we, we, we could be uh, fined for abusing a tree in Long Beach. Definitely yeah. an animal. Yeah, really. Absolutely. Maybe a resolution or a letter of support for their project or I'm sure we can be yeah, added to it. That would be great. 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 Actually, these boards and panels are going to the showcase on Monday. The state showcase is going to be in the atrium at the Department of Education, so the projects will be on display all of next week at MDE. So, rapid writing would be much appreciated. And these students work very hard on this project, so I'm proud of them. to come and stand behind your panels, your boards, so that I can take a picture of you. And I put it on the website. <laughs> I put it on the... Yes, we're kidding. <laughs> 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 And it's I'm here long enough. All right, then. Okay. Try to get the Thank you all very much. You did an outstanding job.